What's up, witches? So, we, we want regret to inform you that it's time to stop, stop worshiping, worshiping goddess. goddess. There, I said it. And why? Because I feel like, okay, this may be a, kind of shocking to some of you, um, that, you know, pagan religion, especially neo-pagan religion, um, is not necessarily supposed to be executed in the same way that other uh, big box religions are is executed mm -hmm. to where um, people feel like they have to fall on their face. Right. That I am nothing, you know. Um, I'm down here and the plug, the source, is up here. So goddess is up here, I'm down here. I'm nothing without her. Which is in a sense Obviously goddess created us, you know, she created all things. But when you think like that, you're basically living on a low vibration. Um, and, and it also makes talking to goddess harder. Right. Because um, the purpose of a spiritual path is to become enlightened. To, to be, raise yourself up. To expand your... To ascend. In, to, yeah. To ascend, to learn, to grow, to expand your mind, expand the dimension. And stop, you know, I guess, feeling like a worker in it. Right. And start feeling like you are the queen of your own castle. You are the king of your own castle. You are the um, goddess of your own Mount Olympus, if you will. Um, so... You know, I feel like there's a lot of people, you know, who run around, and I think we've probably thrown the word around, not that they, we necessarily mean it in that way, mm -hmm. where we say, oh, well, you know, oh, I worship, uh, you know, uh, who? Give me somebody. Uh, I'm a worshiper of... Uh, Venus. Venus. Aphrodite. Which she would probably like for you to say that. Right. But it's different. Right. And she, the thing is, is, I don't think deities want to necessarily work with you as much if you are like, you know, oh, wow, you're way up there, you know, and, you know, yeah. I'm way Oh, down don't here. shoot me with those arrows. Right. I'll shoot you with them arrows whenever I want to. Because, um, you know, the the point of mm -hmm. you know our religion and the point of you know uh, being attuned with goddess is not to worship them uh, as great clean. and all powerful, but to learn and to um, emulate work, them. Emulate them. Learn to adapt. You know their teachings. Adapt uh, the lessons that they have. You know follow their path. Um, be more like them, you know, to, you know, ascend to be greater, to be more inspiring to people, to... Um, Ambivalent. Right. Because, you know, I mean, if you would like to, you know, just kind of scratch the surface and say, you know, oh, I worship this deity, you know, you're really going to stay there. You know, your relationship with them isn't going to go very far. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about continuing to dig, continuing to cultivate, and continuing to take the lessons that they're giving you um, to pull yourself up. And I think a lot of people who are in that mindset think that if, like, if something is minutely wrong with what they're doing, that they're goddess is going to strike them down. Right. Oh, I can't give um, Rhiannon, uh, you know, an, uh, an incense that's got, you know... Jasmine in it. No, like something that we'll say, something that people would say she wouldn't like. Like, um, s I don't know, sandalwood, you know, because, you know, I read in a book one time that she only likes jasmine and lavender. Okay. She's you know, wanting you to call her mama. She's not going to, you know, send a speeding 
mayor down the street to like pin you to a wall. These are just minor things, you know. Of course, it's good to you know be tuned into their frequency yeah, and, know and know what, what they, they like and yeah, what, what they don't like. Are. But don't lose your brain over it, you know. Don't worry, you know, like, oh, what should I put on such and such as altar? Is my such and such altar good? What do you think? I don't know. You should ask her. Right. Ask her, not me. Um, because it's your relationship with them, mm -hmm. you know, and I think it's really easy for a lot of people, you know, to, to watch, you know, YouTube, read books and things like that. Yeah, get on and, the interweb. Mm -hmm, and be like, oh, you know, uh, Finn is really into Rhiannon, so I need to find out from Finn. Do you think this would be okay for her? Ask her. She's not me, you know. I'm not her. I'm not that good. Although I wish I was. Or you know. Yes. <laughs> or even for the Martis. That would be very easy to get a girlfriend if I look like her. You need to learn how to communicate with them yourselves. To trust your own right. um, intuition with them. You know, to have an open line of communication. Not to stress out. Not to feel like... Oh, no! I didn't burn the right incense! Artemis is going to but shoot me! But she's not going to respond anymore because you have now said, you know... Yeah, it's just you know, like... whatever. So, it's, don't sweat. Don't you know, worry about it. The plug so is not that... The plug picky. is not like in a hiffy. Right. So, you know... Oh, and here... Speaking of, you know, Christian God, not that we're, you know, knocking any of you Christian witches who watch us, anything like that. But now just think about this. You know, Christian people run around saying like, honey, I'm a good God-fearing woman. Why would you fear Yeah. somebody who's supposed to be... Respect and fear are not equal. Right. So that's the difference, you know. I feel like we kind of because it's more commonplace we for us don't to, we follow but it's not like we're you know underlings yeah. you know um and we may walk behind her but right they, lead, the they lead the way they cut the path they teach the lessons but it's up to yeah. you to learn and to apply those and not to feel as if you are nothing Mm -hmm. Okay. Or that anything, any wrong little thing that you do is in some way greatly offensive or disrespectful. Mm -hmm. They'll let you know if it's disrespectful. Right. And you need to learn how to tune yourself to their radio station, so to speak, um, so that you know what they're thinking and what they're feeling. And you need to learn how to discern those things for yourself because, you know, you can ask... You know, like, oh, you know, um, do you think, you know, that this is so-and-so being upset with me? Because, you know, I'm, you know, devoted to Thor, and then, you know, lightning struck my house the other night, and it was right after I burned a red candle. Do you Jeez, think that's uh, related? It's just like, mm, let's not, um, let's not be as kooky as everybody thinks we already are. Right. You know? Let's be the, you know, more smart, evolved, discerning ones, um, you know, who don't feel like, you know, we have to fear uh, the deities that we work with. Right. They want us to, to be equals with them, you know. And not only that, I think people, again, confuse fear and respect and reverence with right. each other. And don't feel like, um, because I know uh, most most everybody in any country, your only frame of reference for religion or for spirituality is Abraham. Christian. And it's, you know, that means the, you know, the big mm. cheese is up here and the little cheese is down here. It's really, it comes down to sometimes the thought that counts. And just the big point is don't try to make your right. pagan beliefs fit into a Christian mold because it's just not going to work. Mm -hmm. So just think about you know you can blend these things you know you know if you're somebody who practices like you know Christian and pagan or 
you know, Christo pagans, you know, I know all of those, all of the above exist out there. But the point is, you know, do what works for you, but don't feel like you cannot um, be their equal. Um, don't feel like, you know, you have to, you know, go to uh, your sacred space every day or your deity's not going to speak to you. She's not going to, you know, have your back. It's, you know, uh, you don't have to, you know, fall on your face and I'm not They worthy. don't want you to hide I'm your... I'm not worthy. Yeah, they don't want you to hide, hide your face. They don't want you to... I mean, some, there might be some that are like that. There might be some, and they're, you know, it's not saying that if you do this, they're not going to say, oh, thank you. Like, that's great. Footstool, thank you. But you're not going to get as far in a relationship with that person or get that line of communication open with that person like you would is if that you can... person, that deity, mm -hmm. you're approaching them like you're equal. Or like you're in a romantic relationship or it's like mother and child relationship. Mm -hmm. if Teacher, you, student, you know. If not you fear like, the one that's in authority, you can't learn. Absolutely. Because all you've done is learn to fear. So, that's it. The cat's out of the bag. We do not worship goddess. I know y'all thought we did, but we didn't. We never have. And we will start no time soon. Okay. Because there are mamas. They are goddess is great. Um, but so are you. Okay, so are we. So don't feel like, you know, you anything less than. Because if you wanna be greater than, you gotta get on that level, okay? So just let me share that with you guys. And we hope you enjoyed this video and uh until we see you guys in the next video, just remember, Following goddess, goddess is great.